collision. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his own off of him. Watch knees to the body. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Beautiful strike. His body kick now by Luke.
coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, assassin. And now it's going to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now and go back to your head. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Punch coming. It's blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, overhand left. No good. Big body kick lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And he landed the right hand there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, combination.
position lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Right punches there. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast. So accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Just out of the range with that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, nice move of the body. Just what he needed there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. We'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses there with the left. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Missed with that attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Set the pace. He's able to slip the left there. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Blocks the shot. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Nice hook lands. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice head kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. 
just out of range with that right hook. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big kick lands. Combination landed by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Two rounds in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Ooh, head kick lands hurt. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Big kick. Back and forth we go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. a left punch there and a lot of it's set up by good footwork really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand oh nice jab nice oh he lands the superman punch well you've got to admire the urgency here he is trying to keep the judges out of it lighten up his opponent left and right well he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He blocks the punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throws the right hand there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. And he connects with the punch there. We'll see if there's more with that. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Right hand upstairs. Just missed with the left there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did. He executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. 
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He loaded up on that right hand, too. has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Whips on the straight right hand. Ball oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And they separate. Lands with the right hand. Superman punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. What a body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Body kick is blocked. Cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, there is it lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about Dutch. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Beautiful. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Getting late in the fight, it has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hands high, hands high. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just a slip there. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Great punch landed with so much power. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. to no avail. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice. Oh! Back to the feet! for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner, 